everyone welcome back to my channel today I am back with a brand new speed build this time using just the jungle adventure pack and base game now I think it was a couple of builds ago when I was doing the first villa build back that I actually said whilst I was building that if I had to do a kind of a restricted pack build using just jungle adventure and base game that I probably would find it fairly easy so I thought I would put that into practice and do a smaller build using just just those packs but even though I have used the jungle adventure pack it isn't really a jungle themed well it's not a jungle themed build at all <laughs> but I just thought I would use those items and come up with like quite a nice family suburban home so I did actually build this on a 30 by 30 lot in Brindleton Bay and it's a four bed three bathroom build which comes in at just less than 177,000 simoleons now I decided to name it um, Brazilwood Way, I think it is, <laughs> if I can remember rightly, and that was literally because the trees at the front of the house on the left, which you will see shortly, are called the Brazilwood trees, and they're really, really beautiful. They look kind of like sort of orchard, lemony type trees. No, they probably don't look anything like lemon trees, but I just think they're really beautiful. And I saw the name of them and I thought, right, that's what I'm going to call this build. Now, I'd probably say this is quite a modern build, if anything. I was kind of going for like a real sort of clean, living, modern kind of style. I didn't want it to be like lots and lots of landscaping and you know it overgrown or anything like that I just wanted it to look if anything like a brand new house build so whereas normally I go absolutely mad on the landscaping I'd say it was fairly tame for me <laughs> in comparison to what I usually do um but I did go ahead and add those hedges at the front which I know I've actually done this on the last couple of builds it's like those little hedges that you can space apart but I just love the effect that it gives so yeah I'm aware that I've kind of overused that look a little bit but I do really like it and I do think it looks quite pretty um but yeah so I'm just doing the outside at the moment and just adding in some lights I must say as far as outside items go and decoration wise I was really quite restricted I did feel restricted um, but that's literally restriction as in the amount of detail that I normally put in because obviously in the last build that I did it was whopping and I could pretty much put as much as I wanted in that so there, there was a restriction to a certain extent but for the kind of style that I was going for I didn't think it was too bad and I thought I'd make a change actually to just do something a little bit more on the simple side than something so overly fussy. Now what I will say is I have actually built this particular house for a family that I am currently um, playing with within game. So you will see in certain sort of screenshots and pictures of the house, you'll see items from other packs, but they're literally ones that I've added into the build after I've finished it. So this build is actually available up on the gallery now for download under hashtag Simkin build or using that as my origin ID and it is literally just jungle adventure alone so if you do see items and you think no that's from a different pack fear not the actual um version that's up on the gallery now is completely jungle adventure alone now you will see with this kitchen the cabinets that are used at the top and also the cabinets where you've got like the seating up at the the sides they are from a completely different pack but luckily um i was actually saving this game this particular build as i was building it and picking up very quickly every time that i used something that wasn't in um just jungle adventure so i did go back and change them up for just very similar items but just in case you're like hang on a minute don't worry i'm on it so I really had no worries with building the kitchen at all. I just found it really, really straightforward with lots and lots of choice. I absolutely love the flooring in the Jungle Adventure Pack and also the kitchen counters, as well as these kind of like side tables and um, the shelving. Like there was just a lot of choice. I didn't feel restricted at all. And I really like the way this kitchen came out. It kind of had like quite a nice rustic feel. Now, even though the outside of the build does look quite modern I would say on the inside it was very kind of family type 
you know, I had like a family type vibe. It wasn't kept modern and clean or anything like that. It's very much a family home inside, which is what I wanted it to be because it kind of looks like a brand new build from the outside, but on the inside, it just has this quite homely feel. Um, now, the four bedrooms that I did, I did do it for my Let's Play family, but she's currently just a single sim, so I literally had to make up all the other bedrooms, so I thought I would go with a little bit of variety. So, I think I went in the end with a twin toddler bedroom, a single kind of teens looking bedroom, and a young boys bedroom, as well as obviously the master bedroom. So, there's lots of variety there, because obviously she will go on to have a family, but I'm not entirely sure how many children she'll have, whether they'll be girls or boys. So I thought for the sake of just adding in some variety, I will do a little mixture. But she does currently own a dog as well. So there are a couple of items, like I say, that you might see like dog beds and bowls. I did try and chuck a load of that kind of stuff into the inventory when I did come to take the shots. But like I say, you might see a few little items from there. But fear not, they are not in the version that's up on the gallery at the moment. So I'm currently just finishing the dining room. And I really like this actually, because I don't normally use like a round table um, in the main dining room. They're always kind of like the longer tables but I quite like the way it turned out and I didn't realize they were big enough to fit that many seats around so I'm really loving this kind of um what color would you call it it's that kind of teal and orangey type colours that the Jungle Adventure Packs added in. I just think they're really kind of warm, beautiful colours. So I really enjoy using them. So I'm currently on to the living area, which is lots and lots of neutral tones at the moment. But I do go in to add some kind of like blue tones. Which again, this particular blue that came with the Jungle Adventure Pack, I really, really like it. It's like a greyish, bluish colour. Um, yeah, so I added that in. But... It's quite an open plan space, really, this living area. And I like it because there's lots of room. So there's plenty. I'd say there's a lot of room to grow in this house. And especially if you started off with a single sim or a couple, uh, it's kind of like a home that would last you a good amount of time. So as per usual, I go ahead and throw in plenty of skill building items. We've got uh, easels, we've got the piano, we've got the bar area, computer. There are just lots and lots of things that I add in. And I always tend to add them into a build because it kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. And we've all got to work on those skills at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, it's not a starter home by any means. Although, if you wanted to use it as a starter home, nothing stops you from downloading this house as an unfurnished property and adding in bits and bobs as you feel fit. So I hope you're all having a fantastic week. I have had a brilliant week actually. I'm feeling really, really good about these builds at the moment. I feel like I'm so well rested within The Sims and I've kind of got that buzz to build again, which feels really good because I have to say it's been a while since I felt like that and I am really enjoying myself since I've been back. Um, so thank you very much for the support. Now I have, when I laugh, I have to tell you about what happened over the weekend. Uh, I decided to do a test stream on Twitch and um, at the same time decided to have a couple of gin and tonics. <laughs> but I didn't realise just how strong they were. <laughs> And it made for quite an interesting stream. Um, but I had a real, real good giggle. So thank you very much to, I think it was Jay and Michael who were in my stream. It must have been horrendous. <laughs> it must have been terrible. But it did, however, give me the opportunity to work on some settings that I needed to change and we were having some lag issues and just to iron that out and find out where the problem was. There was a lot of tweaking with my settings that I needed to do. So thanks for being really patient, guys. But um, I am looking, I'm working on my Twitch stream at the moment. There will be a couple of test streams that come up. So I apologise if you get notified and I'm just like, on off on off i am trying to sort it out as smoothly as i can uh, but i am looking to work towards quite a regular stream and oh 
I'm quite nervous about it, if I'm honest. I am, but I'm looking forward to it at the same time. Um, so when I get a little bit of confidence up, because I, I normally, when I come to do a little bit of streaming, normally kind of just sneak on. I don't do any of these announcements on Twitter like everyone else does. I'm not brave enough for that yet. <laughs> but, but if I get a little bit braver, then... Um, you know, I maybe tweet it out, but for now I'm a little bit like Houdini on Twitch, which is ridiculous because that's not how you're supposed to do it. But anyway, yeah. So, you know, you might actually catch me on stream. And if you want to follow me, um, I'll leave a link or I always leave a link in the description box below. And I also have very recently changed my name on Twitch as well. I'm no longer Simkin Bills. I am Kim underscore UK because I'm looking to do a little bit of variety streaming as well. So you'll see me stream some different games. And if you're interested in that and you want to follow, then it, I would be happy to have the company. Um, but yes, I'm finishing up at the moment. This is, I think, the last bedroom that I'm doing, the boys' room. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this build. Something a little bit simpler from me. I really enjoyed building it as well. And like I say, I didn't feel too restricted. It was quite easy to build, really. And I had a lot of fun. So if you like this build, please feel free to give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subbed already, I would love to have you on board. And then you can see all my latest and greatest builds. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, I'll leave a link for that in the description box below too. So take care, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.